what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving question says find the value of x for which 9 to the x is equal to 90. well our first step will be for us to take the log of both sides the reason is because we have the variable x as the exponent so let's take the log of both sides so I'll take the log of the left hand side which is 9 to the x and this is equal to I'll take the log of the right hand side which is log 90 very good now our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm which says when I have for example, the log of a to the n, this is the same as n log a. So let's apply this law to what we have here. So this makes this to be x log 9. And this is equal to log 90. Very good. And since we're looking for x, our next step will be for us to divide both sides by log 9. So I'll divide the left hand side by log 9. I'll also divide the right hand side by log 9. Now log 9 can cancel off log 9 from the left, leaving behind x to be equal to, on the right hand side, this is log 90 all over log 9. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to split 90. 90 is same as 9 times 10. So we have x to be equal to the log of 9 times 10, which gives 90, all over log 9. So log 9. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm, which says when I have the log of m times n, this is same as log m plus log n. So let's apply this law to what we have on the numerator. So x is not equal to, so what I have here now becomes log 9 plus log 10 according to this law all of our the denominator which is log 9 now our next step will be for us to split the fraction so we have x to be equal to this is log 9 divide by log 9 so divide by log 9 plus this is log 10, so log 10, divide by log 9. Now notice that log 9 divided by log 9, we have 1. So this is x equal to 1 plus, here I have log 10 all over log 9. Now our next step will be for us to split this 10 into 2 times 5 because 10 is the same as 2 times 5. So x is not equal to, we have 1, plus log 10 now becomes log 2 times 5, all over log 9. Now I'm going to be applying the law of logarithm, which I applied on our previous slide here. So we have x, to be equal to 1 plus now log 2 times 5 is the same as log 2 plus log 5 remember this law all over log 9 now our next step will be for us to split the fraction here so we have x to be equal to 1 plus here we have log 2 all over log 9 plus this is log 5 
all of our log 9. Very good. Now, know that 9 is same as 3 squared. So I'm going to be putting 3 squared here on our next step. So x is now equal to 1 plus log 2 all over log 9, which is 3 squared, plus this is log 5 all over log 9, which is log 3 squared, since 3 squared is 9. Now let's apply the law of logarithm, which says when I have log a to the n, this is equal to n log a. And we apply that on the numerator, on the denominator rather. So we have x to be equal to 1 plus, this is log 2 all over, according to this law of logarithm, this becomes 2 log 3 plus, this is log 5 all over. This is same as 2 log 3. Very good. So our final answer now becomes x equal to 1 plus where there is an invisible one here. So this is 1 all over 2 log 2 all over log 3 plus there is an invisible one here so this is 1 all over 2 log 5 all over log 3 very good and this is our final answer well let's go to the most important part of this exercise and that is checking now let's go to the next slide to check now let's check so check well, this is our solution for x on the right-hand side of the board. The question given to us is 9 to the x is equal to 90. Well, we want to check if the left-hand side will be equal to the right-hand side. So let's take the left-hand side. So take the left-hand side. The left-hand side, I have 9 to the x. So I'm going to be substituting the value we got for x here. So this is 9 to the x. The value of x is 1 plus 1 over 2 log 2 all over log 3 plus this is 1 over 2 log 5 all over log 3. Very good. Now let's apply the law of indices, which says when I have a to the m times a, a to the m plus n, this is the same as a to the m times a to the n. So let's apply this law to what we have here. So this becomes 9 to the 1, which is this one here, times 9 to the 1 over 2 log 2 over log 3 very good times 9 to the 1 over 2 log 5 over log 3 well 9 to the 1 is same as 9 times now this expression I can write it as 9 to the half and this is raised to the log. This expression log 2 over log 3, it, there is a law for, of logarithm which says for log m all over log n, this is the same as, is it actually a law of change of this? This is same as log m this n. So an expression like this can be written like this. So let's write this in this form. So this is log 2 base 3. Very good. Times. Now this can be written as 9 to the half. And this is raised to the, this expression written as log 5 base 3, according to this form. Now a law of logarithm 
of indices rather which shows that when i have a to the half this is same as the square root of a right very good the square root so we have nine times this is the square root of nine which is three and this is raised to the log two base three times nine to the half means the square root of nine which is three and this is raised to the log five base three very good now let's apply the last property the law of logarithm which says when i have for example b to the log of a base b as long as this base here and this base here are the same the result will be this number a so let's apply this law of logarithm to what we have here and here so this is nine times the base here and the base here are the same so the result will be two so this will be two times the base here and the base here are the same so the result will be five so times five and if we have to multiply this nine times two is 18 times five that's 90. so we see that we have this to be equal to the right hand side so our result is correct well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care